Um, get in on the motorcycle. Bandage later. Run now. Son of a beech nut. Welcome back, my friends, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do the crack book again, primarily so that I can, um, you know, get some more schematics. And I need to adjust the DPI on my mouse, because it is really hot. Um, let's try this setting here. Okay, yeah, that should work. Uh, so, yeah, we've done this place before, but here again, um, you know, the chance for, uh, for, you know, books and schematics is pretty good so we're going to do it again um also one of you guys pointed out to me in the comments my that, senses have picked up something that my sensors have picked up something i mean uh, no that uh i actually had some books uh back at the base um in that chest i had back in the bedroom and so completely forgot about that and i believe you are correct about that i just haven't had a chance to get back to the base yet to check that out so there we go. There's some research data for us right there. So at, when we're done with this quest, we'll go turn it in. And then we'll go back to the base and uh, see if we can get... Oh, nice. A couple upgrades in. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Um, what is this? Iron pickaxe. I don't think we need that. I have no idea why we'd, we would want that at this point. So we're going to scrap it and turn it into research data. Okay, give me books, baby. Give me books. Books and schematics. Uh, what's that? Bows and crossbows. Yeah, we're, we're hanging on to those skill books for consumption later on in the game. Uh, at least that's the theory anyways. Uh, that is locked. Yeah, let's go ahead and unlock it. Get ourselves a little bit of money. All right, we're going to start going counterclockwise um, because I mentioned this, I think, in the last episode. It seems to me like it procs more um, counterclockwise than it does clockwise. I, I can't say that for an absolute fact. I just think it seems to me like that's Master, the way that it is. So. And down with you. Oh, I heard another Zeker. Oh, you're a glowing Zeker. All right, come here, glowing Zeker. Here, let's take your leg off. Oh. All right, we can take your head down, too. All right, you dead. Um, so, yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> I can't remember. We were talking about something. So, yeah, let's bust this thing out real quick. Go back to the base and see if we can do at least one more um, upgrade uh, for our workstations. That is, in terms of upgrades... That is my focus um, for the next little while. Uh, just getting those workstations upgraded to you know to the max level, so that way we have our full our, our full capability here. So, all right, let's check this. Uh, all right, very very good. Just about said very good, <laughs> very good, very good. That uh, there's usually some Zeeks behind this counter here. Um, we'll scrap that, and, oh, there we go. Okay, we already know this, and this is the beer recipe. I am going to learn that, uh, because we may get some beer production going on here at some point. Little Joe, nothing there. There's a satchel. And we are done with the quest, but we will, of course, continue on here. Get more loots. More fat lootskies. Check all that stuff. Another locked register. Okay, we're going to go counterclockwise again. Yep, see, look at that. Almost in the same spot as the other one, in fact. Just another Nat's eyebrow that way. Six dollars? Seriously? All right, well, I'll be thankful for the lock picking skill that I gained from doing that because I sure as hell didn't get anything else for it to speak of. Um, all right, we're gonna have Zeke's back here. 
I don't remember. I know I've been in here multiple times, in fact, but I just don't re remember. I think we go out the back, yeah. And then I think we have to go up on the roof, too. Uh, wait. This. Those are just normal boxes. We could loot them, but I think I'm not going to do that this time. Miso suit. That door is locked. There's a trash behind here. And I think that's it for in here, other than the few boxes that I opted to Incoming leave behind. Be Let's get up here. What? What are you going to do? Oh, you know what? They're going to come around and jump on my head. That's what they're going to do. Okay, no. Come back down here, idiots. Actually, that, that, that was pretty smart of you guys to do that. Not that I want to admit that you're smart, but... I don't know about you, Steve. Feral Steve. Let's give you a headache. Alright, what's in here? Nothing. Check this. There's some stuff in here. More research data. Thank you very much. We will take that. I'm not going to pass up this cement. I probably shouldn't be passing up the clay either. Uh, but it is getting late. Not that I'm afraid to be out at night, but it is a pain in the ass. Not going to lie. So it'd be kind of nice to be done with this by then. I should have used the axe on that. We would have gotten more stuff, but whatever. Okay, let's go up here. Get ready for buzzards. Buzzard, 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 buzzard. There is formerly known as spider zombie. Zombie? There's a bear over there. Okay, we should be able to put this guy out of our misery. Alright. Any birds? Let's see if there's anybody in here. Doesn't look like, at least not on that side. Oh, maybe on the other side. Master, we That's are a glowing alone. bow! He did. Can we get our bolt back? Uh uh. We got a spadider. Hey, come here. I hit harder than you do, man. In case you didn't notice. Nobody in there. Really? No. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna have Zika Roos in here. Let's open this up. Oh man, no bears. We don't need the bears. Steel combat knife. I mean, I don't think any steel combat knife we can make is going to be better than this legendary saw blade. So, I think we're going to scrap it. That bear is really making me nervous. Okay. Question is, can the bear get over to us if we stay up here? Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Where are the incoming enemies? I hear footsteps. Sounds like they're behind us there. Alright, well here. Let's jump down here. If that bear comes in here, we gotta make sure little friend's ready to go. Okay. Iron combat knife. Definitely don't want that. We already have the medic kit learned. So yeah, we're... Oh, shit. We're getting ourselves a nice little... Well, that went a lot better than I thought my... <laughs> it could have, put it that way. We got lucky and got a decapitation on this dude. 
Um, I don't remember. What else was I saying now? Always losing my train of thought, man. That's what happens when you get old. Where are you at, Zombo? Oh, there's a Steve over there. Give me my crossbows. The bear broke in through here. Is there anything in here? Yeah, let's look. All right, I got some of that. Looks like the zomba doodles I've got a bad feeling about this. are on the other side of that door. Oh shit! I thought you were a corpse. <laughs> Here, have some shotgun, buddy. Thank you. A sore. All right, let's loot this. Uh, we might want to use that at some point. Let's learn it. Okay. We probably better deal with these guys because it looks like that door is not going to hold up forever. And there's a few of them, so we'll use little friend. We'll keep on looting while we're waiting for him, though. Keep on looting. You guys through yet? You're getting close. Oh shit, it's almost nighttime. This is kind of bad timing, guys, I'm just saying. Any time now. You need some help? There you go. Get those heads over here. Boobs work too. Heads are better though. There you go. Shotgun sandwich for you. Now it's nighttime. And stay down. Okay, everybody be really quiet. Because we could get zombies coming in through here. While we're trying to loot. Oh shit, they're coming this way. See, now we're going to attract all the Zeeks around. All the Zeeks in the whole world. But oh, is somebody back here? Somebody's back here. Go away, Nurse Nancy. Okay, oh shit. Little friend. Okay. Who else is out here? Hey, it's our favorite ball sack. Bad feeling about this. Yeah, I kind of have a bad feeling about it, too. Here we go. Where's ball sack? Oh, shit. Reload. Reload. We got this. Here, come here. There, you can die. You can die if you want to. And even if you don't do it anyway. Beef cuts, oh shit. You did. Here, take this. Oh, is he already dead? Out out oh, there. Son of a bitch. All right, here. Um. Get in on the motorcycle, bandage later, run now. Son of a beech nut. Um, we might be in trouble here. Here, quick, 
quick, quick, quick. Take one of these to help counter the bleeding, because I already took the bandage. And then run away. <laughs> night time in the wasteland, baby. This is what you call a night on the town. Yes, indeed. Oh, that started getting a little intense there, you guys. I'm not going to lie. That was uh, a little bit intense there. Okay. Let's let our health come back a little bit. Maybe we'll take one of these to help with that. Oh, no, Edgar, go away. Need health. Oh, shit. Here comes cop. Wahoo! Feral cop at that. Yeah, we don't want to mess with him. Not until we're ready, anyways. I did mention to you guys that I'd prefer not to be out at night, didn't I? I think I did. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I think. All right. Let's go. I just need a second to regroup, heal up a little bit, and then we can reach out and touch these guys with our sniper doodle. But they're like freaking all over the place. Okay. Can we stop here for just a second? That something trying to eat me. Okay, sniper doodle loaded, sniper doodle's loaded. We still have a minute and almost two minutes on the pills before we take another one of those. Okay. Are you loaded? Let's get you loaded. I believe our sniper rifle is silenced. Yeah, it is. So we shouldn't attract everything in the whole frickin' neighborhood. Uh, I might be out of render distance. Okay. Seriously? Feral sent you guys. It sucks. It is nasty. All right, let's go back to. We still got to get to our fat loots, man. Um, so let's go back to the bookstore if I can find the damn place. Oh, we're back over by our place. Wait, where are we? Yeah, there's the Deshaun right there. Uh, what direction am I going? Yeah, we need to go... We need to go... I've got a bad feeling about this. This way. Here I figured we'd finish up the quest, we'd go turn it in, and then we'd go have a nice little enjoyable relaxing evening in our penthouse and get some upgrades done and maybe even try out our jackhammer, but no, the game had other ideas for us, didn't it? Okay, I think this is the bookstore here. No, that's the tool store. All right, uh, the bookstore is next one over. Gotcha, okay. It's a good thing this was a fetch quest and not a clear quest. At least we're able to finish the quest. Okay, let's stop here for a second. And we got a baddie here. Oh, we got somebody coming. We got a couple somebody's coming. You know, we're not healed up enough to be taking on multiple Zika Roos right now. We're still less than half health. All right. Nope. Well, you know, we could just go home and come back in the in the morning to get the fat loots. I mean, we can't turn the quest in anyway. Because I think the trader... Doesn't the trader close at midnight on Undead Legacy? I haven't been to the trader that late in a long time. Run your ass over. Run your ass over, too. Yeah, it, it's, it's just a bit hot. I think right now, if I if if I could just have um, some sniping time, we could clear them out. But it's just you know, as soon as I get far enough away from that group, then another group just aggro's on us. All 
Uh, we can take another one of these now. Oh shit, okay, nope. Uh, bike, 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 nope, don't get hit. Get on the bike. All right, you guys, well, I, I think we better go home. I think that's a good idea <laughs> right now. Just because I'm going home doesn't mean I'm afraid to be out at night. That's not it. Don't misinterpret this situation. This is more like, a, you know, discretion is the better part of valor kind of situation. It's not old guys running scared because it's nighttime on insane difficulty in the nightland on Undead Le Legacy. That's not it at all. So, you know, let's just make sure we're clear about that. Oh, man, we got a lot of shit to put away. Um, You got stuff in you? I bet you do. I think I put stuff in you. Nope. Well, you probably did. All right. Um, we do have that buff at nighttime where we can carry a lot more weight. Yeah, we're good. We got this. Okay. Let's get on up to the. I've got a bad feeling roof. about this. It's okay. You can keep having a bad feeling. We're not worried about those zombies. We'll be just fine up here in the tallest building in the whole world, or at least in the Seven Days to Die world. If we were playing with the compo pack, there is there are taller buildings, or at least one taller building, but we're not, so. All right, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back up nice and safe and cozy in our new place. Um, so let's see, I guess the first order of business is inventory management, so let me get stuff put away first, and then we're going to take a look and see what we might be able to upgrade. Okay, let's go uh, disassemble these guys and get some parts from that. Looks like we can do one more. And then this is where we should have the extra books. Um, yeah, we have 13 books. Okay, cool. So thanks again, guys, for pointing that out. So that gives us a total of 51 books. I'm going to put uh, that chest in there for now. And that we have to just sit on. Oh, and we also have... Is this broadcasting? Oh, we can't broadcast this chest. Okay, so... Do we not have any more research data in here? This is where I would have put it. I didn't put it in there. And this is all just paint. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Maybe, maybe I put it somewhere else. I, I wouldn't have carried that around with me. Well, at least not on purpose. Um. Just trying to see if... Oh, you know what we could do? Let's, um... Let's do this. Yeah, 1360 is what it says we have in total, and that's what we're carrying. So, I'm, I don't know, I must, maybe I was carrying it around with me, not meaning to or something. Uh, so, yeah, that is all we have for research data. Okay, so, uh, workbench tier 2 needs to be upgraded. Maintenance station tier 2 needs to be upgraded. Um, and this one requires steel. We have everything else we need to upgrade this. And 30 books. I kind of want to do this one first, just because then we'll be able to... Uh, you know, repair our high-end tools. Uh, we definitely need to get this one done, too. And this is the one that required the impact driver, but it also needs steel. I think steel might be our problem here. Do, do, what do we have in here? Let's uh, sort by type. We could make some steel with this iron. We have some here. Oh, we have some steel ingots here, too. I wanted to. I also wanted to go do a little bit of jackhammer mining, too, but we probably better not do that, at least not while it's still nighttime out. But what we can do is, here, we can put those back in there. Let's go over to you. You? Yeah, you. And let's make some... This is broadcasting. And it has steel ingots in it. Why do you not detect that? Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing, man? Is the 
Is the broadcasting not working on these? Turn it off, turn it back on. Yeah, it's not picking it up. Well, that's odd. Something's not working right, man. Is anything picking up broadcasting? Yeah, I, I think so, because we were we were looking at upgrading this and oh. Wait a second. Do these do these does broadcasting not work on those chests, you guys? Is that what the deal is here? No, it's picking up all of this stuff, which is in chess. I'm not carrying that stuff with me. Am I having an, an old guy moment, or is something literally not working here? Broadcasting is turned on. Right? Now it's off. Now it's on. This still doesn't see it. Okay. I don't know. I can't explain that. But what we're going to do instead, then, is grab the steel ingots and bring them over here and just straight up create those. Okay, so that'll give us 20 more of those. And how many do we have currently? We have 33, so that gives us 53. What did you want? Oh, shoot, you need 100. Doc, got it. Um, and as do you. <laughs> okay, maybe we better go risk some mining. I mean, we do have the iron ingots there. And we should have a buttload of coal dust somewhere. Is it in here? Yeah. So. Wow, man. See, this isn't picking up any of the broadcasting either. Steel ingot. Iron ingot. Oh. I know what's wrong with this one. It, just, it needs fuel before things show up. But this doesn't use fuel. So I'm still a little corn fused about that. Um, all right, so let's grab uh, you. We'll just burn the scraps. Okay, here, I'm going to try something else. Let's put the that stuff back in there. See, this is picking it up, so that means this guy is broadcasting correctly. What the hell am I missing here? <laughs> If I just see this says nearby storage too. Is it out of range? Oh. I'll bet you it's just barely out of range. I'll bet you that's what it is. It's probably just right barely out of range to reach those. Okay, that's the that's what make that makes sense. Okay. It sucks, but it makes sense. So what do we do about that? Um I wonder if here, let's pick this up. Workstation output not empty. Okay, and then let's pick this up. Now, if we put the forge here, now does it pick up the broadcasting? Yes, it does. Okay. If we put the carpentry station... Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Crap. We can't put it there unless we bust out that, that steel uh, trim piece. If we put it there, we're going to be blocking that door. Plus, that might be out of range, too. Where do we put this damn thing? What if we turn it? Okay, that's picking up the broadcast, too. I know this is jank, you guys, but this is temporary. Everything that you see here is temporary setup. I might mess with this a little bit more later and see if I can make it better, but for now, I just want it to function. Okay, back to this. So, uh, no, to this. So we want to make uh, steel ingots uh, with this. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, just flat out have to do some mining in the morning, that's all there is to it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But once that's done, that'll give us a hundred steel plating. 
and then I guess the question I need to ask myself is do I want to get the maintenance upgraded first or do I want to get the workbench upgraded first? And I think the answer to that is the maintenance. I think I would rather get this upgraded so we have access to repairing our high-end tools. Now whether or not we have the materials for that, that's a whole different scenario, but let's at least get started with getting it upgraded because that's got to happen first before the other thing can happen. So what we're going to do is put our impact driver in here for now and we'll come back to that later and let's hang on to the jackhammer does this require yeah this requires gas okay the nice thing about this and I pointed this out in the last episode is that uh, we can repair it with a normal repair kit we don't have to have an advanced repair kit like we have to have with the Valkyrie drill do I not have any repair kits? Uh, motor parts? They shouldn't be in here. We're going to need gas for mining. Wouldn't be in clothing and armor. Shouldn't be in here. But that doesn't mean it's not. I thought we had a couple of repair kits. I don't remember burning them all. But maybe I did. Son of a beech nut. All right. Let me look one last time because sometimes my eyes just gloss right on over it in, and it's right in front of my face. But, yeah, I don't, I don't see it, man. Well, okay. So, repair kits. We don't have any. We can make some, but guess what? That takes steel plating. We hardly have enough steel plating just to do the damn upgrade. Uh, right here. So we would need five. Well, let's just see what we end up with. Uh, maybe we'll have a five left over uh, in order to do that. So, all right, Houston, why am I not seeing the frickin' steel plating. Oh, because that's right. You didn't scroll down far enough, OG. Wow. Uh, I have an actual, in real life, thunderstorm happening outside while there's also one happening in the game. And some thunder just crashed. I don't know. You guys probably couldn't hear it, but it's like, eh. okay. It's, uh, it's interesting because I'm getting it from both ends, right? Um, oh yeah, yeah well, no. Hmm. We might not have enough. It's going to be really close. I could do the math, but I'd rather just wait until it's done because then I don't have to do the math. Because I don't like to do math. I'm just not a math kind of person, you know what I'm saying? If you guys have ever seen me do math uh, before, you know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, what time is it? It is almost morning. Okay, that's good. So, eh, you know what? Uh, we aren't going to have enough, are we? Nope. All right, well. We're definitely going to have to go mining, and that's all there is to it. But here's the thing. Um, we're going to... Uh, what I want to do is I want to upgrade the maintenance station. I think that's going to help us the most uh, to get that done first. But we only have 53 in here. So I'm going to actually take five of these out because I... Well, I don't have to take them out, but... Uh, we've got to repair the jackhammer uh, because it's, you know, going down. Uh, plus, we got to go back and get the fat loots and do our quest turn in as well. So, lots of stuff to do. So, let's make one of these. We should have plenty of the rest of the stuff that it needs. I'm still finding it hard to believe we have no repair kits whatsoever. When did I use all of those? Was it after the Horde Knight? I didn't put them in here, did I? No, I don't see any repair kits in there. Hmm. Hmm. They're probably sitting in a crate somewhere, and I just... My ball, eyeballs aren't seeing them. Okay, so that gets us up to 76 steel plating. 
Uh, but we we have the jackhammer. We have gasoline for the jackhammer. We have one repair kit to repair it. Uh, let's put here. Let's put this stuff in here for now, since the chest that I'm storing all that in doesn't broadcast. We'll put all that in there, and I think we're good to set out. I hope we don't need to use our axe anytime soon, because it also needs to be repaired. Okay, let's go. Down, down, down we go. Hey, there's a Zombo there. Hi, Zombo. Yeah, let's go get the fat loots. Do the turn in. Mine iron. In that order. Preferably. Any zombos in here? Nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to learn that, and we'll scrap-a-doodle that. And let's open up the chest. We'll start counterclockwise. Okay, looks like we're going to be two for three on the counterclockwise. Yep, it's actually clockwise for a change. At about the 12.30 position-ish. Oop, back just a little bit. Uh, not bad, but not as good as what we got. Uh, so we'll, I don't know, hang on to that or use it for parts or sell it later. Here, let's pick this up. Okay, so overall, the bookstore run wasn't too bad. We did pick up a couple of new schematics, and we got, you know, some research data, and, man, we are seriously lagging here. Let's go turn in, and then it's time to mine some iron. I wonder if this jackhammer is as bad as the Valkyrie drill for calling in screamers. Our, uh, our current mine is just on the... Oh, crap. It's just on the verge of being breached. Um, so we either need to fix that or we just need to go find a new mine. Uh, all right, I need a stone. The lag is bad. If I look that way, that's where it's bad. Let's get a couple of rocks. All right, Zombo Bear. GTFO, buddy. Skeedaddle. Vamanos. Hasta la vista. GTFO. Oh, I already said that, didn't I? Okay, he's probably far enough away now. All right, let's go do a turn in for a crappy reward. Yeah, How's I'm talking to you. You've made my day. Iron shovel four bites. Payment. That's worth uh, 213. Those are worth. Yeah, I'm gonna take the four bites. We don't need an iron shovel. Oh, okay, cool. We're done with three. Very good. Okay, so let's see. We've got farm bundle, generator bank bundle, leather armor bundle, dart trap bundle, or melee mods bundle. Uh, we don't care about that. This could be somewhat useful. This not so much. I don't care so much about that. Never been a huge fan of the dark traps in this game. Melee mods could be useful, um, but farm bundle could be useful too. Um, because eventually I want to expand the farm. And so, yeah, we're going to take farm bundle. All right. You still have the same inventory as you had before. It looks like, yeah, it looks like the same stuff we looked at before. So we're good to go on that. Okay. So what all did you give us, dude? Three more plots. Super corn, pumpkin, and uh, hop seed. Okay. Probably just plant potatoes. Same stuff that he had before. That's right. These vending machines don't reset every day. 
Uh, oh, well, should we take a... No, nah, let's not take a tier 3 from him. Master, we are not alone. We'll come back and get a tier 4 from him when the time comes. I hope that we're not alone is not the bear. Okay, I think we're okay. Laggity lag, 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 lag. Well, okay, let's hop on down to our existing mine and just hit it for as long as we can until we get overrun. Uh, or until, you know, I, I load up and can't carry anymore. I should have some steroids with me, plus we can put a little bit of ore on Roberta, the robotic drone, too. And then we'll, once we do that, we'll come back, we'll make the final amount of steel that we need, and then get our maintenance station upgraded to two, tier three. That's the plan, Stan. So yeah, we'll see how long we can get away with this before the screamers come. Probably not too long. <clears throat> Excuse me, too long, but we'll see. Okay, so the ceiling is too high for us to reach down here. So what I've been doing is uh, just nerd pulling up and grabbing it from down here. Because of this, you know, the the this mine is very temporary for us. I'm not too worried about, you know, trying to make it any better than that. We're just going to do the best we can. All right. Um, let's see. If I take a coffee, which I don't have with me, I can mine a little bit more. But guess what? I don't have it with me. So we're not going to take any more coffee. Let's just mine. Oh, wow. We can't even reach that. Okay. Let's go up another block. Oh, this thing is so awesome, man. Just tears through the stone in the ore. You know it's going to call in a screamer, though. Probably sooner rather than later, too. Uh, we got a nice little patch of iron up there. This is like 10 times better than using the pick. Um, I'm going to bang my head if I try and go up one more. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, let's go hit this area here. We banged our head. Doesn't do so good on, on sand, though, but, man, it just tears through stone and metal. So I guess we better have this still handy for for sand we could the auger is probably really good on sand but we don't really need to do that because it's just going to waste more fuel not that fuel is a problem anymore it used to be like a major stopping point for us until we finally were able to make it Yeah, I'm very happy we found this in the last episode. Okay, let's hop down and reposition. There's a little pocket right up here we can grab. Whoops. Yeah, don't don't push yourself off. Ooh. 
We're going to, you know, the thing is, too, is we're going to have to mine a metric butt ton of stone. And then after we're done with that, then we're going to have to mine some stone. So I am really actually very happy that we have this now. Because I won't use the Valkyrie drill. This is just going to be way cheaper to run, you know. I'm not saying I'll never use it. But for now, this is just more economical for us and probably darn near just as fast as the Valkyrie drill is on the ore and stone. Or fast enough, we'll put it that way. Yeah, it doesn't like sand though. That's the one thing about it. Okay, we're starting to get um, full, but not all the way there yet. That's, I think that's lead. Uh, no, that's iron. Okay, let's grab that. That's lead there. The durability is lasting a decent amount of time on this, too. It should, because it's an A-level tool. Roberta, we need to put a, a pick in your hands and you can help me mine. I'm probably going to get pushed off if I try and jump up one more. Nope, never mind. I can't believe we haven't called in a screamer yet. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Ow. Okay, Roberta the robotic drone. We need Oh, I do hear a screamer. Okay, we've called in a screamer. Um how much of this can you carry? Oh. You can carry all of that. And can you also carry some stone? Yep. And how about some lead? Yep. And how about some copper? Okay, she's good. Um, but I am concerned about the screamer now. Is little friend completely loaded? Because if they break through, we are going to have a fight on our hands. Oh, some coal! Nice! I didn't know that was there. That is very good to know. A coal pocket, guys. Awesome! Alright, now it's time to repair this. It, does, it doesn't sound like the screamer's right above our heads, though, so that's good. I mean, you know, generally speaking, it's always good when the screamer's not right above your head. Talk about stating the obvious, right? I'm really happy there's some coal in here because I, I have to go all the way to the forest to get coal. This shovel's about ready to bust on us here. More fuel. Okay, let's see. How are we doing? We, we could carry a little bit more. Um, here's a pocket here. And here's one here. Oh, there we go.
And some iron here, too. That's the one thing the Valkyrie drill would be doing for us, is it would be clearing this sand really quick, too. Like getting all turned around in here. Okay, we're about maxed out on our weight, so. Let's head on back. Okay, guys, we're back up at the base here. Um, so let's get uh, some iron smelted. Uh, we want this recipe here. And Roberta's got some more stuff for us, but she has trouble getting up here sometimes. And, and, and I didn't tell her to stay put. So where is she actually at? She's out. No, that's the motorcycle. Where'd she go? I see her kind of glitching out on the compass there. Uh, is she outside here? Roberta! Don't tell me she's stuck back down in the mine. Oh, no, there she is. Okay. Here, give me your uh, iron in particular. You can carry the rest. Of oh, that makes us heavy. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Let's take one of those. Okay. She can carry the rest of the stuff up stairs if she can make it up there. Hopefully she can. You coming? Okay. Don't knock me off the ladder either, Roberta. That is not funny. Is not even close to being funny. Not even minutely funny. I'm not laughing. Do you guys see me laughing? Is she following us? No, she's stuck down there. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> she's supposed to teleport to me if I get too far away, but oh, there she did. Okay, she just tell there she did. There she there she is. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now let's get the rest of this. Iron going. Iron, iron ingot. This iron. Yeah, that one. Okay, we'll put a couple resource items away whilst we're waiting for that. Um, that's a nice little bunch of coal that we got. And we have some farm plots too. We gotta go get the farm plots and the well from the old building. But I think what I'm gonna do for the moment is just store this stuff in here and I'll do that later. Let's put this um, research data in here and the MEO mission can go in here and we'll put the extra storage thingamadoodle in here for now. Okay. So yeah, we're just basically waiting on uh, steel plating here. So that we can finish that upgrade. Okay, so first of all, I was completely honest with you guys. I absolutely was. I told you that I could have something right in front of my face and not see it. <laughs> I was looking for those repair kits earlier and I had them in my inventory. I'm such a noob. There, I said it for you so you don't have to. <laughs> for Pete's sake, man. Oh, uh, you know, you know what I'm gonna say next, right? Can't take him anywhere. That's just, that's just a fact. That is just a fact, Jack. Uh, however, um, in spite of all that, I was happy to discover that I actually do have my repair kits. They're just in my inventory. Okay, so enough said about that. Well, actually, no, there isn't. <laughs> you can't say enough about it. Oh boy. Anyway, we are ready now to do our upgrade. So we have to grab out of here. We have to grab um, a hammer. 
just have to have the hammer in our inventory. Then we can go to here, and then we can go to here. And, oh, that's expensive, but let's do it. We've upgraded it. We now have a tier three maintenance station. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so now we should be able to repair anything. Um, so I wasn't able to, for example, to repair the saw blade before. Now I can with steel. I wasn't able to repair this. Now I can with steel. Uh, this is going to be great because now we don't have to rely so much upon uh, repair kits themselves. That requires titanium plate. So, yowzers. Um, does this require an advanced? Nope, that still just requires a normal repair kit. Uh, what about you? You're just steel, too. Okay, yeah, that is a that is a nice upgrade to have. I, I've been wanting, you know, to get that thing upgraded for a long time. Uh, so now, what do we have left? Uh, we just need steel and some scrap titanium. I can get titanium out in the, in the wasteland. It just takes a while, but maybe with the jackhammer it won't be so bad. Uh, the disassembly station doesn't have an upgrade. So we still need to do the workstation. We, we need to do... That's already level 3. We need to do the ballistics table. Uh, which isn't really all that expensive. Um, in fact, it's not expensive at all. Uh, but we will need, you know, research data, books, that sort of thing. To get this guy upgraded to... I, 2. I don't know if it goes to 3 or not. Mechanics table is already upgraded, and artisan's table is already upgraded. So, yeah, looks like we just have the ballistics table left and the workbench left. And then I think we're all maxed out in terms of having everything upgraded as high as it can go. So that's really good to know. We'll be working uh, towards that as time goes on. Okay, so I think that's it, you guys, for this episode. So in the next episode... We'll probably do another building episode. We'll probably start working here on the Deshong Tower. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do off camera um, between now and then is just go mine stone like there's no tomorrow. Um, because we're going to need tons and tons of concrete to start repairing this place. Um, so that is the tentative plan. Of course, if that changes, I will have let you know. Because I always reserve the right to change my mind. It's an old guy's prerogative. <laughs> so anyways guys that is it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye